Oh. Hello and welcome to the second episode of the sixth CPSA How to Hit series, sponsored by Browning and filmed here at the National Clay Shooting Centre at Bisley. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to shoot the singles in a round of English skate. Starting on station one, as you can see, I'm stood beneath the high house and I'm facing the low house. The targets, as I indicated in the previous video, cross above the white pole in the centre of the range there. As per all the other videos we've done before, getting the basics right is essential. That means get my feet in the right place, get my eyes in the right place and the gun in the right place before calling pull. Now the high house target, I'm going to shoot over the central pole there. So my feet are towards the centre of the range. My eyes are going to be in this area here and the gun will be held further out so the clay, I see the clay before it gets to the gun. I'm going to shoot it, like I said, over the pole. This is the same shot I will take when I shoot the pair, which we'll cover in the next episode. The sequence for shooting this is I will load two cartridges. You must load two cartridges when shooting this, the singles. Set myself up, call pull, shoot the first target, and then take my gun straight to the gun hold point for the second one, tip my eyes back, and call pull for the second one. The only time I open my gun is if the referee, if I miss the first one and the referee calls repeat target and I've got to reload the gun and take the high house again before shooting the low. As we know, with clay shooting, it's compulsory in competitions to wear ear defense and eye defense. On the skeet range, the nature of the targets when you're shooting them, especially the low house on station one and the high house on station seven, you can get showered with broken bits of clay. So it's imperative you do wear that safety equipment. Now, the hat is also a very useful bit of kit for covering your head, protecting your head, keeping the rain and sun off your glasses. But on a high house target, it can be a bit of a hindrance with the peak coming forward. So what I tend to do is just take the peak back a bit so my view is not impeded by the peak. I'm going to hold the gun about two thirds along the flight line and I'm going to lift my eyes up so I can see the target without lifting my head oh. off the stock. So I see the target, it gets to the gun, as soon as it gets there I shoot. Pull! For shooting the low house, I'm going to be shooting the target about two metres this side to my left of the white post. I hold my gun about two thirds of the way out from the low house. And my eyes are back somewhere between the gun and the low house. Again, it will depend on background, light conditions, your visual acuity, where you see that target. It's where you see the clay is where your eyes go but I'm looking about two meters or so left or out from the, the low house. Oh. Station two, singles a shot, I per station one, single high, then single low. Again, I'm gonna set my feet for the break zones and some people like to move the feet for different targets. I've set my feet so I can shoot both targets from a one foot position. The high house is going to get shot before or over the central white pole and the low house will get shot past the white pole and from where I'm looking at the moment in line with the browning flag in the distance. My visual pickup point for the high target will be about a quarter of the way along the flight line out from the high house and I'm using 
the corner of the trap range as my gun hole point. So I've got a reference point there to use. Pull. On the low house, my visual pickup point is about a third of the way up on the flight line because in this range, that's where I'm seeing the target clearly. My gun is held half to oh. two thirds of the way along the flight line. So I've got plenty of time to see the target before I lock on with the gun. The high house, I can shoot it either pull away, CPSA method, maintain lead or swing two because it's a quartering target. The low house, I'm going to lock on and pull away as per the CPSA method. Again, load two cartridges. I call pull for the first. Pull, shoot it. Take my gun straight over to my gun hold point. Pull, eyes go back to my visual pickup point, and then I call pull for the second target. If I hadn't missed one to this point, I would then get, if I missed one now, I would get, as I explained before, the repeat target. As mentioned in the previous video, station three just consists of the two singles, shot high target first, then the low target. As per the other stations, I'm getting my feet set. I'm going to shoot the first target, the high, over about the white post. Pull. And the low house, a third of the way towards the high house after the white post. Pull. My foot position enables me to be able to get hit the high house on or even after if I shoot it late because I'm a right-handed shooter and I'm pushing the gun off my face. The right to left target, the low house, the gun's always against my face, I'm able to get round it. But I'm making sure that I'm able to get the high house target late if I need to. This foot position. Pull. Pull. For the high house target, my gun hold position is about a third of the way out along the flight line from the trap house to the white post and roughly above the corner, front left corner of the trap layout. The visual pickup point is about a quarter of the way out, which is roughly halfway between the trap house and my gun hold point. Pull. On the low house, the gun hold is halfway between the low house and the white post and my eyes halfway between the gun and the trap house. For the high house target, I can use either maintain lead or CPSA method, the pull away. But for the low house target, I'm going to use um, CPSA method. I'm going to lock on and pull ahead of it. Pull. Station four singles again consist of a single high followed by a single low. As per the other three stations, I'm going to try and hit the high house target before or over the central pole. Again, my visual pickup point or my gun hold point is about a third of it on the flight line, which again, using the corner of the trap layout as my reference point and my eyes again somewhere between halfway between the trap house and my uh, gun hole point. This target again can be shot either using CPSA method or maintain lead. The low house target I'm going to hold my gun roughly halfway along the flight line with my eyes somewhere between halfway to a quarter of the way back towards the low house. Again, this is because of the background here. And I'm going to shoot this target just past the, the post there. Pull. 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 Station five consists of just the two singles, shot 
single high, then the single low. Foot position for this one. Now, because we've come around to the right-hand side of the range here, my foot position is now favoring the high house because that's the, the side the gun's getting pushed off my face. And I'm gonna shoot it roughly halfway pull between the post and the low house. The low house will get shot just after pull. the white post. Gun hold high house is halfway between the uh, trap house and the white post. Visual pickup point, again, halfway between the gun hold and the trap house. And for the low house, again, gun is halfway between the white post and the trap house and the eyes halfway between the gun and the trap. Using the CFC method on both of these, rather than Pull. maintain lead, you've got plenty of time to shoot them because they're both singles. Pull. Station six. Pull. Again, the singles are shot high then low. My foot position for this is again favoring the high house, the left to right target because I'm a right-handed shooter. And I'm gonna break that one roughly halfway between the white post and the low house. Pull. Gun hold would be halfway between the high house and the white post. Visual pickup point somewhere between the, the high house and the, um, the gun, depending on the background. And I'm gonna use CPSA method, just lock on, pull ahead and shoot it smoothly. The low house, however, pull, is a quartering target, tight angle quartering target. And for this, I'm gonna use swing two. So I'm gonna shoot it over the, the white post, but this time I'm gonna have my gun about a third of the way out from the trap house on the flight line, roughly in line with the browning flag in the distance. Instead of locking on and pulling ahead of this one, I'm actually gonna let the clay go past the barrel and I'm gonna to swing to it and get the impression I'm shooting at it. And the tight angle and the spread of shot will take care of the lead. This will become particularly important when we get into shooting the doubles. Pull. Again, the foot position for this will be the same as the high house because on the low house, the gun is constantly against my face so I can swing round to the left quite comfortably. All right, station seven. This time the singles are shot low house Pull. first. So it's then low, then high. Pull. Break point for the low house will be on or just before the white post in the middle. Gun held about two thirds of the way back. My eyes looking to the right of the gun. I see the target, bring the gun up to it and shoot straight at it. The high house, I'm gonna shoot past the white post. Gun is held Pull. about halfway between the high house and the white post. Eyes back again, depending on the background, to uh, roughly between halfway between the high house and the gun. Method use here, lock on, pull ahead and shoot. Again, about a third of the way past the white post. And again, like on station one, it's imperative that eye protection is worn because of the bits coming towards you when you shoot the, the high house. In the next video, I'm going to be shooting the pairs on each of the stations. And that is how you shoot singles and escape the out. Pull. Pull.